Cold War is already history. Barriers that long divided countries and people have fallen. There is new potential for the United Nations to advance a vision of a world without war and of shared peace and prosperity. Today, many countries that are embroiled in the flames of conflict have been clamoring for UN attention all across the globe. As a direct response to these calls, UN troops have served in 54 peacekeeping missions across the world. The peacekeeper in his blue beret is the most visible symbol of the United Nations. India stands firmly by its commitment to the United Nations in its peacekeeping efforts around the globe. Countries that participate in the UN peacekeeping process not only have to provide the troops and expertise, but also have to be politically acceptable to both the conflicting factions. The presence of Indian soldiers in UN missions in different parts of the world is a testimony of their acceptability and professional competence. Indian troops have taken part in UN missions in Congo, Namibia, Cambodia, Somalia, Rwanda and Lebanon. The UN's role in peacekeeping has reached a critical juncture in an age in which nationalism is threatening the internal stability of some countries and aggravating age-old tensions between others. The UN currently has 16 ongoing peacekeeping operations, with India participating in nine of them. With a total strength of 2,136 troops and military observers and 847 civilian police officers, India has been one of the largest contributors of troops. The UN currently has over 14,000 peacekeepers in action in 14 different operations around the globe. India continues to be one of the largest contributors of troops. Winning the confidence of the people is crucial to the success of their mission. The task is not easy. Various factors play an important role. Respect for local customs, values, religion are just as important as keeping the peace. Traditional peacekeeping has given way to complex integrated operations which require a combination of political, military and humanitarian action. Police officers, electoral observers, human rights monitors and other civilians have joined military personnel under the blue flag to help implement negotiated settlements of conflicts. In current conflicts, many combatants are not soldiers of regular armies, but militias or groups of armed civilians, sometimes children, with little discipline and an ill-defined command structure. Civilians are the main targets, constituting some 90% of casualties. About half of these two are children. The price of peace can be very high. The whole world community owes a debt of gratitude to these soldiers of peace for their courage and sacrifice. More than 1,500 peacekeepers have died while serving under the UN flag. Their sacrifices have brought new hope to many millions of people as conflict-ridden societies have made the difficult transition to peace. In 1988, the world recognized the utility of the peacekeepers in securing peace by awarding the Nobel Peace Prize to the United Nations peacekeepers. United Nations peacekeepers have undertaken activities that address the needs of entire societies in crisis. Peace after long years of turbulent conflict, is only the beginning of the building of a nation. In the post-Cold War era, dependence on the UN has become much greater, as it is the only body that can be seen as a truly democratic and universal forum for the community of nations. This also demands a strengthening of the UN itself. The soldier in blue will remain the most visible symbol of the United Nations, Every action of theirs might look like a drama straight out of a war movie. But here, the dead and the wounded do not dust their clothes and walk away. Some of them have made the highest sacrifice. 
fighting someone else's war in the hope that peace will prevail.